I've taken a quick look at how to add the certification email signature into Gmail. I don't normally use Gmail, so I just had to have a quick look first how to do it, but it doesn't seem to be too complicated. So I've got my SGL account open and I've got my Gmail account open. So what I'm going to do first is just go to support and education in case anybody's not seen where this is. Click on education. And in here, this gives me a couple of important bits of information. One is, here's the custom URL that's for my personal certification page. So if I just open that on the new tab, you can see what that looks like. This takes users to a page where they can see all the things that I'm certified for. So you can see I haven't done them all, but every now and again, I dip in and have a quick go at the exams just to see if I can pass them or not. So I close that. More on creating SDL certified email signature. Okay, so there's a link down here you can click on. If I click on that, it takes me through to this page where I can find all the different logos, all the logos, even the ones I have not qualified for. Um, and some instructions. Instructions are fairly basic. They don't cover Gmail. So what I'm gonna do is just go through the process of how you might do this for Gmail. So first of all, I'm gonna click over to my Gmail inbox. And I need to go to the settings, which is here. And then if I scroll down in the settings, here's my signature box. A couple of important points. There's a little radio check button, no signature or a signature. I'm gonna put the signature here. And also note this one down here, which needs to be checked if you want the signature to be inserted before the text. So I'm going to say yes. So first thing I do is write a bit of text. So I'm going to say I'm SDL certified. Are you? And then I'm going to add the image with a link in it to my page underneath it. So we need to go and get the image. So the way to do that is what I've noticed is when you click on the image, let's say I'm going to add this one, say, for translators. I click on download, I'll take the small logo, so I download. It doesn't actually download it in Chrome. It might do with a different browser, but with Chrome, it just takes you to the image. So the first thing you need to do is save it. So I'm gonna right click, save image as, and then just tell it where I want it to go. So I'm currently going to my, oh, I was going to my doc, oh, I'm in my documents already. So I'll create a new folder and I'm gonna call it uh, Gmail Gmail signature certification horrible name but that's what I'm going to call it for the time being double click I've overwritten the name because I pasted that in there so I'm just going to say advanced small it's a PNG image that's okay and save it so the next thing I do is I just go back into my settings and I can click on insert image there to insert the image. So I need to go and find it. So I upload, select a file from my computer and I put it, and let's go recent, just recent places. Gmail signature certification and there it is. So we upload the image and that puts the image in. Now, to put the link in, I could either type some text and put the hyperlink in, um, which is easy enough to do. So I could just say um, here, my, I'll click here for my personal achievement page, or whatever you want to call it. That's a bit cheesy, isn't it? But let's go with that just to get some text in there. And then you could highlight the text you want to put the link against. And then you would click on link and paste the link in there. And the link, if we remember, if I go back to my page here, is this one. So this is my personal link. So I'm going to copy that link address and then put that into there like that. You could test the link, make sure it works. That seems to work. And then I click OK. And that would put a URL in a link there. Um, if you want to put the image with a link on it, 
then you select the image and the best way to do that I've found is you start from the right and drag the mouse over until it colors the image so now you know you've selected it then click on the link again and when it says link go to link change remove click on change and then in here you can paste the link in again and say OK so now that is also linked when you're done and I'm pretty much finished now you could format it change the text make it however nice you wanted it to be maybe that's a bit big can I resize it image small oh I can do I want it that small medium actually I like it small so you can change the size as well that's quite cool and then when you're done there you save the changes so I save the changes takes me back to the email and if I click on compose now it then brings up a message with a lovely advert um, here we go and there's my certificate is ready to go so anybody receives that email they'll be able to click on the image and click on that and it will take them to your personal achievement page and that's it so pretty straightforward that's how you add the email signature in Gmail hope that's helpful